Hey everyone, my name is Lim and today we are going to find out what is Bullet Heaven 2. Bullet Heaven 2 is a Bullet Hell spin-off of the Epic Battle Fantasy series. If you've never played a Bullet Hell game before, the easiest way to explain it is... Imagine our type, then imagine it with 15 billion bullets on the screen, 42,000 enemies, and then you've pretty much got a Bullet Hell. To curve the difficulty, what makes Bullet Hell games playable is that you have a small hitbox on your ship, so it's a lot harder for you to die, meaning that careful movement and precision control of your ship is essential. So Bullet Hell 2 was both developed and published by Matt Rosak and released on Steam on the 7th of December 2015. If you like what you see of the game in this video, I'll provide a link in the Steam page in the description below so you can check the game out for yourself. So this game has full controller support, so that is how we're going to play it. Options are fairly basic. You have some nice control over the effects that you can have and you have 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second options, which is also nice. So okay there and let's play, shall we? Level select, level one, one kitten kingdom players. Player select, well, I guess we'll be a cat. Why would we not? Main weapon shoots forward while scattering slightly and shoots faster when charged. Fast movement speed. Main weapon shoots straight ahead in focus line and spreads a little when charged. Average movement speed. I'm gonna be a cat. Because obviously, why would I not be? Let's start, shall we? Ah, oh, so this seems like there's quite a few levels then. So we've got a bunch of worlds and sub-levels within those worlds. Difficulty... Stick out normal because I'm a scrub and I don't think I could handle anything high. Shall we start then? Let's go. Okay, that's helpful. That's all the mouse controls. The only problem is I'm using. That's not helpful. How do I know what I'm supposed to be doing? Okay, well, a bunch of cats and slimes are cruising through the my garden, trampling. Oh, the bunch of dicks. Right, let's get him. Yep, yep. There's a cat, yep. I'm ready. Can I maybe control the game? No. Okay, great. That was the issue. Let's go. I knew that. Let's go. Oh, I'm a cat that fires stars. How adorable. I like that. Okay, so it's not very bullet helly so far. I don't see 10 million enemies. I just see a... I'm just shooting stars at cats. Oh, that cat has a cannon. We can't be having that. Okay, what does that do? Okay, that makes the bullet spread out. Perfect. Thank you very much. It's so far so good. It looks like we have bombs on the right-hand side of the screen there. We also have a ranking system. We're currently sitting at B. I don't think we get a fairly high ranking as we haven't even been hit yet. So we're doing pretty good. Not move until that bitch is dead. Dead and dead. Oh, we're up to an A rank. This is good. So it feeds you quite a lot of information, it seems, on both sides of the screen. We've got cash, uh, kills, wave we've got timer ranking also on the top side of the screen there tells you what uh, fps we're sitting on which is quite nice so we know if we're dropping frames we are now ranked star this is good oh okay took a hit there that's bad drop that bitch before he drop uh, fires anything out of his cannon oh okay what's this it's like a mini boss. I'm not moving. You cannot beat my kitty powers. Soundtrack's pretty nice so far. Can't complain there. Bonus round. Okay. Bag all the kitties. Uh, 
as a cat lover, this game deeply offends me, I must say. I've got no problem fucking up green plant things with carrots in their heads, though. So, but this is this is acceptable. I want to be a kitty. I don't want to fight kitties. Right. So, what does that do? I'm not entirely sure. What does bit? Oh, okay. So that B button press there just did did all the damage. Level complete. Nice. 212 kills, 521 cash. Justice was served. I murdered a bunch of cats because they ate my carrots. So, that went fantastically. Score uploaded. Oh, please don't do that. I don't doubt that my score is terrible. Two stars. Okay. I presume I can add three. Your hitbox is marked by the tiny dot in the middle of your character. It's actually only one pixel. This is what I was saying earlier. You only have a tiny little hitbox. So... It means that even with loads of shit going on on screen, it's still pretty difficult for you to be dropped. So I'm quite fond of the cartoony aesthetic we've got going on here. So there's cutesy, cutesy characters and you're a cat. Have I mentioned you're a cat? You're a cat. It doesn't seem to be offering anything new. In all honesty, to the bull hell genre. But this is early on. Before we wrap up the video, we will inspect to see if there are other modes that we can play other than just a basic progression through a campaign. We moved on to new enemies in the toadstools here. Oh, so I nearly missed that dude. Die in your face. Please and thank you. I'm gonna talk. Oh fuck! I got careless there. That was poor. I'm trying to my best to weave like the little yellow dots on screen are obviously the enemy bullets. I think, in my opinion, like the pinnacle of the bullet hell to me is Akai Katana. That's my favourite bullet hell I've ever played, and that's the standard of which I hold everything to within this genre. And t you have to bear in mind that this is only a budget game made by one dude, and it's cheap on Steam. So you can't be expecting a AAA quality game here. Oh, that cat sounded sad. Oh, I'm not liking this. Star power! Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so now the screen's getting... Oh, shit. Took a hit there, that's bad. Nice, level complete. Oh, we only got one star there, that's bad. That's bad. That'll do, that's enough firewood for now. Note to self, napalm the woods near the kitten kingdom. Why would I do that? That's bad. I don't want to do that. We've got 531 pounds for doing that. That's not uh, that's not too bad. I can take that. Bomb is B. X is sub weapon. Okay. I don't have any sub weapon. Oh, it's recharging. Ah, oh, I see. So that bar to the right of my character seems to be my sub-weapon, which is X. That does a uh, burst of that. Oh, okay. Shit. That does burst damage like that. That is perfect for waves of enemies like so. Then we've got this, which is my bomb. You get three of those per level, it seems. Like that. Like, this is good for just quickly clearing out uh, enemies that are sort of in a straight line, look, like so. Ah, bugger. I didn't take... Um, I don't know, I can't tell. Did I take a... I should take a hit from that. Oh, narrow. Narrow miss there. Oh, health, perfect. 
Drop that dude as well. That's everybody. Seems you only get a perfect if you don't take any damage at all, which is quite difficult to be fair. Okay, we're good. This uh, X attack seems kind of overpowered with the dual stars. Rather easy to clear enemies without taking a huge amount of damage. I'll put a bomb on those guys, I think. Get that out of there. Oh, oh no. Look like another one star level to me. Okay, and there goes my final bomb, I think. I don't like the look of that cube. Give me dodgy looks. Okay. But that's another level done. I think we will back up and we'll see if there's any other modes. They will rank one star again. All right, let's go down to the menu. So... We go on play, it's see Ooh. so we have cheats which you unlock in the game but invalidates your abilities. Uh, your ability to unlock achievements as you say, you get handicaps which will increase your rank. Medals from which are just your achievements. Don't shoot, be any standard level with the pacifist handicap turned on. You have to time out every wave. Yeah, I'll never be able to do that, okay. So we have the item shop over here where you can buy new characters like a skeleton kitty, new weapons. Although by the look of that, that would imply that the weapons are limited to certain characters. And so yeah, it seems like there's one mode. There's just the campaign, which is acceptable for a game of this type, I think. You you have the leaderboards, and I feel like that is what you're playing for. Multiplayer would be nice, but you can't complain at the content that's being offered here. I suppose it for the for the price. Okay, so I think this is where we'll wrap it up, guys. Thank you everybody for watching. This has been Bullet Heaven 2. If you like the look of the game, you can see a link in the description box below, and you can pick the game up through that. So thank you everybody again for watching and I will see you guys soon, so take care.